Hello, 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 everybody. It is I, J Malls of J Malls Gaming, and today we had a little something going on today, didn't we? We had the Pokemon Nintendo Direct. And if you know me, you know I like my Pokemon. Or at least I mainly used to like my Pokemon. We were a little bit disillusioned with the franchise lately, but let's see how Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, as well as Arceus, are turning out to be. I'm interested. I'm really hoping about Arceus. That's the main one. But, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we're getting the Sinnoh remakes. Sinnoh was my jam. That was the generation that really hooked me into Pokemon. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm interested. Show me the money. Show me the mustard. Show me all the condiments. Hello there. It's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Grand Adventure. Okay, buddy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't mind the art style here. Okay, I don't know why you, like, rotated the camera there. It reminds me of Link's Awakening in a way. You know, with that art, with the art style here? It reminds me of that in a way. Okay. The Bweasel. I've always liked Bweasel. As well. I always really liked that Pokemon, especially in the anime. The anime Bweasel is a freaking bro. Yo, Piplup best starter, don't at me. Get your Chimchar out of here, it's Piplup a bust. Turtwig is great as well, not- Listen, I can respect the Turtwig. A cheeky Turtwig's pretty good. Pitchless a trainer. Yo, it's the Rock Pokemon Gym. I always loved this dude, the cranny nose he had. Put stickers on your po- Oh, you actually put the stickers on the Pokeball? That's pretty cool. It's a nice little addition there to like mix it up and make it feel a little bit more unique. The style shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, it always looks like you're like dressing up one of those punk, uh, you know, those little freaking doll things. What are they called? I will never remember the name of those things. The one that like every figure collector says looks like crap. Yo, we're in the tunnels now. Okay. Funko. That's it. Oh, I miss this mini game. Oh, I remember this from the DS. Oh, that minigame was cool. Cool. Do you have, like, a little sanctuary so, like, you can put up, like, statues and stuff? That's... Okay, hold on. They actually... Actual effort seems to have gone into this game, which actually kind of surprises me. Okay. That didn't look bad. I'm not done yet, right? No, I'm not. Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. Took other people's, too. Ah, uh, good old Team Galactic. I always kind of thought they had the best name. Terrible logo, though. It looks like the Columbus Crew's logo from freaking MLS. Look it up if you don't believe me. You'll know I'm right. Space expanded. Okay, that's a nice background. They had a Quasar looking thing in the back there. Yo, Cynthia. Also, best champion. Don't at me. Even though if you disagree with me on that one, you're probably objectively wrong. Let's be honest there. Now all will end and everything will begin. I was old when this world was young. Also, best legendaries, Gen 4. I'm not gonna lie to you. Gen 4 had by far the best legendaries of any Pokemon generation. Don't at me. Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Darkrai, S-Tier. Freaking S-Tier. Also, Arceus is pretty cool. And Shaman? Come on, come on. Available November 19th. Okay, so can we just, like, as a collective community, just agree that companies need to start putting games in other months of the year outside of November? November's freaking jam-packed as it is. We have Shin Megami Tensei 5, Final Fantasy 14, and Walker, Halo Infinite, and now we got Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Come on. I mean, listen, I'm just saying. All right, discover the Hisui region. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, there was a tale of a time long ago when the lines of Pokemon and humans were still separate. Yeah, okay, so let's just, we're just going to start here and just admit that if we're going to have this graphical fidelity for any other Pokemon game on the Switch, I'm just saying, look, look at this. I never want to hear the argument again that they can't do better graphics in Pokemon. Because they just did them with this game. Not the best, but they still look better, in my opinion. 
Also, Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Just great idea. Also, this music. Sorry about that. Do a little cheeky there. A little cheeky. Oh, I love that lighting effect. Oh, we're going to go back to that. Hold on. Screw the rest of the trailer. I just want to look at that moon. This. I really like just how this looks. In a way. Like, sure, the trees kind of look crappy. But it's a switch. I can, like, get over that. And maybe I would like a couple of moonbeams, but still, this is just a really nice visual. We're gonna have weather effects, gonna have time of day. Yo, Stantler. Looking majestic there. Yo, the Hisui region is really looking really nice. I really like the fact we're going back in time in the world of Pokemon, exploring that, that entire era. I kind of hope they do more stuff like that. What a wide and like just like a weird mix of starter Pokemon. You got Cyndaquil, Oshelon, and like what the hell is the other one? And Rowlet. I mean, it's like Rowlet a bust, right? Like we all agree here. My only thing is like, why wouldn't you go Cyndaquil? Like it seems like most of the Pokemon here are going to be like grass types. <laughs> or like bug types. Because you're in like a middle giant grassy plain. He's got some like water down there. What the hell Pokemon was that? A discount Growlit. Growlith. I like the look of that Pokeball though. Oh, we're exploring ancient ruins as well. See, this is so cool. Like, what you can do with Pokemon, and especially with its history, it's just so wide and varied. That I'm really glad they're doing something like this and just exploring that. Also, it seems like you'll be able to explore the world on the backs of, like, different Pokemon. You can fly, ride them like this. And that's just really cool. And I hope you can do it with your own Pokemon and it's not just, like, a taxi service or something. Like, I hope it's your Pokemon and you may be able to customize it or something. Maybe, like, different foods you give it will affect its stats di differently when you're exploring with it. I thought that was freaking Ice Crown Citadel with how the sky was cracked. Ursuline, I love that Pokemon. Giant bear. It's essentially what the Pokemon is. Yo, run away from the Ursuline. Yo, he hit him with a thunder. That might have been the weakest grab I've ever seen. Why did Gyarados look kind of small there? Okay, never mind. He didn't look exactly small. Luxray is massive. Oh my god. Okay, don't try and flex on us with a Golbat. Or Crobat, whatever it is. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks like they use like maybe three pixels for those Pokeballs. Yeah, I didn't even think about like Hishui variants of these Pokemon. And that's a yeah, that's like a Hishui Santler. And there's a couple of others like the Hishui like Growlithe, I guess. That's pretty cool. This has so much potential. I wonder what the combat's gonna be like. Is it just gonna be like basic Pokemon combat, or is it gonna like be a little bit like innovation to it for Pokemon Arceus? Oh my god, an actual anime cutscene. What is this, Journey? I'm going to the mountain. Oh, I like how they did that. Okay. Available January 28th, 2022. So it is possible to release a game not in November 2021. I didn't realize that. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to have a game released not in November. Hmm. Okay. So... In conclusion, the vibes I'm getting from both of these are pretty good. The Brilliant Diamond and Brilliant Pearl, or whatever the hell they're called, those look pretty good. They are bringing back a lot of the really cool elements from Gen 4 that I really like. I like a lot of the little mini games and stuff, like you're excavating for like fossils and that kind of stuff. The graphics look pretty all right, like similar to Link's Awakening. I'm a fan of that personally. Arceus is looking really cool, at least visually and vibe-wise and aesthetically. I'm really hoping the gameplay is able to help really just push Arceus over the edge into a really great and, like, all-time great Pokemon game. Really hoping that's the case. I'm really happy they're not doing the double release for Arceus as well. I really just hope they kind of phase out the whole double release, like, releasing two versions of basically the same game at the same time. I kind of just hope they phase that out. They're not, they're not doing it with the Gen 4 remakes. 
but then also, I mean, they're still doing it with the Gen 4 remix, but they're not doing it with Arceus. So this is the one I have the most hope for. The one I am most hopeful will be fun and interesting. I'm hoping the story is good and compelling, especially compared to Pokemon standards. I hope we get. I hope they take the lessons that were learned in Gen 5 and in XY and just build on the story. Like I feel like the main draw of this game is going to be the exploration and discovering the various Pokemon, exploring the world with your Pokemon. But I hope there's just tidbits of story here and there to keep the player engaged, especially with like uncovering ancient ruins, how the Pokemon interact with civilization back then. I really hope they just kind of lean in that direction and just really explore this entire time zone. I do not know why YouTube's just being a complete jabroni right now. But it is what it is. So, thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.